Undertale. Um, a Undertale clone. Uh, apparently this one is complete. I'm not sure I will have to check that. Um, as the introduction says, everyone's magicians. I believe. Uh, just going to check the controls real quick. Uh, this paragraph responds. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, apparently, this is a graphical novel. New Moon, since I don't technically have a game. He, you woke up. The surrounding is pitch black, with an open gap from above being only the source of light where you are. Uh, yeah, I still have limited vid vid vision. Uh, limited vision because my new glasses come next week so I'm wearing uh, some really cheap nasty uh, reading glasses located right where you sit is a flower bed of evening primroses it might have eased your fall a little just by being around them soothes your mind You figured that there isn't much you can do here, so you walk the only path available. With the moonlight from the surface, it's even darker than the previous room. A few seconds of walking, you see another source of light shining in front of you. Huh? Oh. <laughs> it's a signboard. One lacked regular maintenance at that. The notes are torn down so you can't make up what it's trying to say. Ahead of you is what appears to be the exit to the ruins. Hopefully, to find someone for help, you walk towards the exit. Oh. Walking out of the ruins is a dark forest. Only echoes of the wind can be heard. It does not seem comforting, but it's the only way to go. I'm back. Sorry, Dad was being annoying. Uh, suddenly you sense someone followed you. You quickly look back, but nobody's there. Admittedly, you're not in your best state of mind. To be fair, I'm never in my best day to mind. You try not to dwindle about this and continue moving forward. Just when you're about to cross a bridge. <gasps> Is it Sans? Hey, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Oh, here, shake my hand. You turn around slowly and shook the stranger's hand. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not Sans. <laughs> the old dove trick. Oh, it's a fan favourite. Say, you seem like a new face. A human one, at that. Must have fallen down the entrance. That's all under construction. I'll bet. They should really put a warning sign, at the very least. Who knows how many will make the same mistake. Can I just say, I absolutely love the design for Papyrus. And I love the background music. <laughs> anyway, a pleasure to meet you. You can call me Papyrus. This area of the underground is still under construction. Luckily, I can guide you to where the main area of the underground. The magic alley. Oh. Well, it says Magic Alley, so I guess we'll go there. Magic Alley is supposed to be the centre of the entire kingdom. Being its patrol, it is designed to be where all the liveliest events happen in the underground. 
Therefore, the construction for that area is practically done, and that is where half the population of the ground currently lives. Magical kingdom. <laughs> the magical kingdom, you ask? Well, to start it off, this place was founded by the royal family of monsters just a few years ago. It is discovered that every monster of our kind comes with their own unique magic ability. When performed, well, it could bring a smile to even the grumpiest creature in existence. The king was astonished. He wanted to extend the possibility of this ability by building a kingdom. One that brings hope and happiness to everyone with our magic skills. He brought the monsters to the underground to build our kingdom, and you can bet they will all run away to reach our goal. Even if my brother and I were assigned to patrol the areas under construction. It's a lovely twist how you have to be Papyrus instead of Sans first. Oh. Can I watch? End discussion. Hasty, aren't we? The events are still in planning stage and the monsters are still doing their rehearsals. But I'm sure we won't mind ourselves an audience from the surface. You should meet my brother, Sands. He's just somewhere ahead of us. Go through the construction sign. Yeah, I ain't the best when it comes to arti architecture. <laughs> I apologise, but Papyrus' voice is awful. My Sands' voice won't be any better. There he is. Oh. Snoozing goes per usual. Sam's wake up. Oh. Hey, hey there. Bro. I like this. The mother for the First pun there aren't you, Sans? <laughs> now I feel like screwing I've had a sight for the goal. What day do you do? Bad at the voices for Sans and Papyrus. Here we are. Magically, it's nothing like the faces we've done before. Right, right. Oh, this is my show. Right, right. The music monsters busy running around. The circus is preparation for the. There are even shops and attractions just waiting for the king to go to all visitors.
shortcuts. Grillbies. Oh, this place is usually full, but I guess everyone's just busy with the rehearsals this time of day. No matter, more for your loss. <laughs> hey, yeah, Grillby. it but I can tell what happens in the future. In fact I'll demonstrate it for you right here now. Let's test it on our old grilbs here. It's easy to miss but you can tell that grilby got nervous for a split second. Sam spreads dozens of cards out on the table and closes his eyes. He then flips the card from the table. Whoa, the milk expired. <laughs> we'll be overheard the result. A moment of silence later, he went off to the back of the bar, presumably to get fresh supplies. Man, this terror thing is double-edged sword, huh? And I'm pretty sure this is a good one. <laughs> we'll be returned with some milk cartons in hand, hopefully fresh this time. Along with Sands, is a bottle of honey. That's a sweet twist. Is then served. Sure, my magic ability is fully. But I discovered that it can't predict. You. Yes. Call it doubt, a curiosity, or just something to pass off time. Anything. One day, when I was making predictions of the future audiences, I found out the fact that you fall into our kingdom before it finishes the construction. Out of curiosity, I decided to find out about your quality. To my surprise, none of my cards fit the bill. It's like anything at all could happen, and it rendered my ability useless. I can't seem to think about it ever since. But hey, like I said, this thing double-edged sword. If anything, I'm glad that I finally found one thing without a predestination conclusion. <laughs> Plus, this means you're writing your own conclusion, and that's definitely a good thing. So, don't let this conversation ruin your time here, okay? Noises can be heard from outside. All monsters stand in your places. Is this all done? We'll be doing our rehearsals for the last game tonight. Boy, these monsters show up. I simply can't imagine the demand. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some good hashtags. You should be on your way to the tent. Here's the thing mention my name. I just don't throw it around, kid. 
that Sans stood up and walked out the bar. In some ways you feel like Sans is using Grilby's silent personality to advantage. Hey, human! How's your sightseeing so far? It's Papyrus. Has he just survived or...? Raising eyebrows now, aren't I? I just figured that I ought to keep up with you. I found you at my control area after all. It's my duty to make sure you are well. It's kind of hard to keep up voices. Oh god. <laughs> Sorry, cats are going mental. Anyway, it looks like Sans beat me to giving you a pass to the rehearsal session. Yeah. His pass was fun to our seats anyway, so I guess no harm was done. With that, I bid you a nice day. He proceeds to walk back to his patrol area. Music and noises can be heard from outside the tent. It looks like they're just a few seconds away from South America here, so the noises can be seen the touring from the entrance. Looks like the rehearsals aren't open to the public. Don't you want a kid? I don't care if you knew me, but this place is off to me. Limit to busy bodies. This is none of your business, but it's the ironic job of watching the bouncers. You decide to present to yourself. The friends are sad, sir. Why? We are more than welcome for you to join our session. Come on. three performances later you're beginning to feel exhausted. Understandably there's only so much magic one can have in a night. And now for the grand event of our opening week, the performance by the kingdom's icon, the one and only. waiting for you. Follow me, human. There's something I must show you before you decide to leave. I'll need you to close your eyes, though. I want to make it a surprise. Good. Here, follow me. Behold! With his amazing magical ability, the enchanting papyrus. Transform the flower... transform the flower bed into a completely different flower type. You are back to where you fell from earlier. The flower bed. Instead of being evening primroses, 
like you remembered, it's now made of serious. Serious? I'll probably get comments for that. It's been hours like this. But remember, I have a lack of vision. And it's a type of flower I've not actually come across before. They are the night blooming type. Okay. You may have noticed that the flowers that grow here are the moon flower range. That's because well, I'm kind of created this flower range magic ability. See, my ability consists of the moment of the The flowers in the flower bed This is the only place where my magic still works. A flower bed planted in a lit area that is soon to be covered by the entrance being my only way to the farm. Bit is sad, don't you think? <laughs> if you say so. Hey, while we're at it, do you know the origin of the blue moon? Why, you came to the right person for that. Blue moon, commonly symbolising... Oh. Betrayal. The music stopped. Um... A rose by folk. It... Etymology, the word blue replacing the no longer understood be the real word to betray. The original meaning would then have been betray a moon. It's traitorous in the sense that people would have to continued fasting for another moon to accordance with the sense of Lent. Lighten up now, my friend. But this is wildly known origin of the moon phase. Keep it as food for thought. Or something to remember with us when you choose to leave. But before that, please accompany for the viewing of the new moon. Despite, despite that, you feel like the magical kingdom will be a great place to be when it is completely built. You decide you'll leave after finishing your session with Papyrus. I've lost my bottle. Or will you? <laughs> Sorry, just having a drink at the minute because it's replaying. Right, that's the introduction. Oh. Well. Okay. That that's that. Um that was a very short game. But nevertheless, it was a good one. I did kind of save in the middle of the game. Yeah. This is where I saved. So I'm going to skip through this and then see what happens when I actually get up. silent for this one and see what actually happens. Oh. So, what do you think about my brother? Cool. It, of course it's cool. You'd thought that
that the earth revolves around him if you live with him long enough. I don't know what the head of the magic Cali thinks, but they deem our Pff, fucking what? Hence he was assigned for the job of patrol the next day. But that doesn't stop him. During the actual opening of the magical kingdom, the royal family will personally visit Magic Alley to witness the first ever performance at the circus tent. <laughs> My brother vows to enchant a human audience in front of the kings and queens' eyes, and that will in return offer him an official part of the crew. Patrols. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's see what happens if stand up to actually join in. will happen. Oh. In a split second the whole tent went dead silent as they witnessed your every move. Hmm? Well, aren't you a gusty one? And I like that. I'm going to show you this how to fix the army. God. Move the Oh Fuck um. This place is now quiet with a few monsters seen cleaning things up. Sans is right, you really can't imagine being busy every day. <laughs> hey kid. I'm not a hand in here, that performance is great. Come 
was we were pretty much inseparable. When King Gasgore made the decision to build the underground kingdom, we were there too. Both of us made a promise to be the duo of top performances in the underground, now to be known as Magical Kingdom. My magic ability has the flying colours, the papyrus, he kinda had a non cut out for performing. I don't blame the ones in charge for their decision, but seeing papyrus stay in the optimistic patrol even if he wanted to was deform. <sighs> Look at me, this is not how the Undying should act at all. But hey, if you could do me a favour, I'll be your friend, your bestie even. Tell Papyrus that despite everything, we're still the best friends we'll always be. We'll still have the endless cooking sessions, we'll still make flower crowns and all the girly activities he likes. <laughs> See, I can't say much and things like that to Papyrus. I did say it all, but that was the message to get to you. Okay, so that's what would have happened if uh, I had got up on stage. Oh, Undyne, she wanted to pass message to me? What is it about? <laughs> the Bible is blushing! She really did? <laughs> don't, don't look at me like that. <laughs> anyway, follow me, human. There's something I'm going to show you. Okay, so... I guess we're back to the... Yeah, we're back to this. Just skip through this, because... And I'll see you at the outro. Okay, that was Lunar Tail. Uh, I'm surprised I managed to get through it in one sitting. Uh, I absolutely love the design for the characters. Um, I, I'd like this to be more known in reality. Um, oh, that just does that. Um, it's quite ironic how Sansa's ability to tell future, future and fortune quite ties into the canon but it's given more of a purpose. So I like that. Papyrus trying to become a performer instead of a royal guard. Again, I like it. Undyne is just a badass either way. Um, so, yeah. Uh, on a couple of notes, um, I've still got a cast calling going, as you should probably know if you do follow my channel and my Tumblr. Uh, I, I've already got an idea who I want to play as Dust Sands. I will sort that out in a bit. If anyone else actually auditions in this time frame, then my mind might actually change. I don't know why, but no one's auditioning for Ever Sans. Is there something wrong with Ever? I think Ever's cool. Ever's awesome. Even though in this comic he can be a bit of a dick, but he's being territorial. Um, so, yeah, links to everything will be in the description. I am going to start editing this comic soon for when I do cast everyone. Again, I'll be playing Blueberry, but if I decide not to, then he will be up as an audition as well. Uh, there are more comics I'm hoping to dub. Uh, they will all be done through castcalling.club because I'll find it a lot easier. So, yeah, I'm Lone Demon Girl. Thank you for watching Lunar Tale. All links to everything will be in the description. 
and I'll see you around.